Hey, all you comic book fans out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner, and this is your host, Mike Spider Slayer. That's right, guys, we're getting ready for another comic book haul. That is right, guys, it's a new week. You notice the wall behind me is white with just the Civil War poster in the background, and if you've noticed every week, I, po I put all the current week's books behind me um, when I do my comic book reviews. So when you see the next review video, you're going to see the books of the current week behind me, okay? And I hope you guys got a chance to go on Dark Avenger Inc. this past week and check out at least a little bit of our Avenger cast that we were hosting on uh, Tuesday night. This week, if you get a chance, please go to uh, Dark Avenger C86's channel and we will be doing our podcast from there. It will be 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and it will be, um, you know, new stuff that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about some of the new Marvel stuff out. A lot of the uh, solicitations have been released this past week. Covers have been released. And so we want to get everyone's feedback about what's going on with Marvel now. What do they think about the covers and, and things of that nature. So, guys... Come to Dark Avenger C86, watch Dark Avenger live, and um, we're going to be talking about some great things on the live podcast that night. So, enough of that talk. Let's move on to this week's uh, comic book haul. And this week, in the bag, there it is. I was anticipating some great books this week, um, and I'm excited for it. So, here we go. Bag. On the floor. First off, we have my only DC book for the week, and it is Green Lantern issue number 12. This is an awesome cover. The black hand on there, just choking uh, Hal Jordan and Sinestro in there, and it just says the blackness reaches Earth. I've heard good things about this actual. Um, about this actual book already um, from the comic book shop so I'm definitely looking forward to this uh, Green Lantern is back on the upswing it's it's the action is coming back everything's coming back again so I'm um, surely there's this is gonna be a great book to read the ending of the last issue was awesome also so check out Green Lantern issue 12 if you are not reading it yet I just obviously suggest it very very good book um, Next, we continue on with um, the 50th anniversary of Spider-Man. Um, this will be uh, Sensational Spider-Man issue 33.2. This is a two-part story um, in Sensational Spider-Man. The story's been okay. It wasn't anything to um, holler about. I did a review on it on uh, Dark Avenger Inc. if you guys wanted to check that out. Um, the story mainly deals with Carly Cooper more than anything, um, so we'll see how the second issue um, of this point series does. Um, the artwork, however, is really, really good, and um, it does continue in the next issue, so the same artist is on it. So um, it's an okay book, and I'll see how part two goes. Next, we have Captain Marvel. Issue number two, kind of staying basic with the theme from issue number one. Basic cover, kind of uh, a little bit different. She's got her arm flexed out. Um, this story was um, decent for me. The artwork was pretty cool. It was different style of art. So we'll see where the story goes. Hopefully it keeps my attention because I really want to enjoy Captain Marvel. I like her as a character. And we'll see where this story goes. Um, next, um, this was a, um, when we talked about it on the podcast the other night, this was a recommendation for me, um, The Secret Avengers, um, due to the fact that Venom is back on the team. Uh, so I am highly anticipating reading this because I'm a huge Venom fan. Um, I do love the artwork cover on this. I love Black Widow uh, in the front and center here. And I looked at the interior art, which looks okay. This is one of the reasons why I dropped the book to begin with. Um, but if the story is good and it has to do with Venom and he plays a major part in the story, 
um, I might just overlook the art and see how this story goes. So, Secret Avengers issue 29. Um, next, um, Avengers Academy, uh, the final exam, part two of four. Um, the story was pretty good. It wasn't the greatest. Um, we'll see where this one goes. All our heroes here seem to have lost his powers due to this... Um, I forgot the name of a gas, but it's this particular gas that they inhaled and they lost all their powers. The covers on this uh, series, though, has been phenomenal. And I'll show you up close, and hopefully you guys can see it, but there's White Tiger there. Um, her eyes are just, like, poking out of her head, just like in catatonic shock. Very cool cover. Um, I'm interested to see how Part 2 fares. Uh, part 1 was pretty good. It wasn't the greatest, but... Uh, hopefully it picks up in part two. So Avengers Academy final exam. Next, we have the continuation of the whole lizard thing going on in Amazing Spider-Man issue number 691. Uh, we find out that Connors, Dr. Connors has been busted uh, because we realize that he's been cutting off the wrong, his wrong arm. Um, so he was busted by, uh, with, by Carly. So, um, and he's created this... Uh, Slowly but surely, he's created this lizard army and uh, with all the people in the think tank. So uh, we'll see how this, how this uh, story arc continues. And I like the cover there. I love the lizard's pupil when you see Spider-Man in there. That's really, really cool. Next, um, Avengers vs. X-Men, issue number 10, or round 10. Uh, last issue was just phenomenal with Spider-Man. Uh, you know, being a hero, a true hero that he was. Um, now, uh, we're down to the Phoenix 2. Uh, the Three out of the five have fallen, and there's two left, and that's Cyclops and um, Emma Frost. And so we're going to see who the final one is going to be standing at the end. And after this issue, we only have two left until the end of this series. So um, this has been nothing but good. If you guys have not... Um, read this series. I've been doing um, quite a bit of reviews on this series myself. Um, you can either check it out on this channel or you can check it out on Dark Avenger Inc. I've been doing switching back and forth between both channels. Okay, so check out Avengers vs. X Men issue for round number 10. Next, last issue you had me bawling. I was laughing my head off when I did this, but. Um, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, issue number three. Um, great cover here. He's holding Wolverine's mask. Dr. Xavier's wheelchair is in the background. And uh, Cyclops' visor is, is on the floor there. Last issue, Deadpool kills Spider-Man. He kills the Avengers. Or this time, it looks like he's maybe after the X-Men, even though he's already killed Wolverine. But um, he's just on some bloodbath. So... Uh, look for a review on this as well. Um, this first issue was okay, how the main plot started. really wasn't that great. Next issue just picked up with him killing everything, and just the way he killed people was just awesome. So, um, decent story. Uh, trade's coming out on this pretty much almost as soon as this series is over. So, if you guys want to pick up the trade, go ahead. Um, I think it's like $14.99. It's really not that expensive when it comes out, so... Um, until then, you can watch my reviews or pick up the single issues. All right? So Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, issue three. Next, we have chapter six of Saga. Last issue of Saga was really good, really great character development. Everyone did some growth in the entire issue. Uh, we're going to see where the story goes from here. It looks like... Uh, Alana and um, and the baby Hazel and uh, Marco look like they all they made it out of the planet in time and um, the Will looks like he's trying to do whatever he can to get the little girl um, that the slave girl so we'll see where this issue continues all right so Saga chapter six very good book guys uh, next we have finally the long awaited almost a month ago. Walking Dead, issue 101, Something to Fear. By now, hopefully all of us know what happened. Um, if you don't know what happened yet, I'll give you 10 seconds to pause the video and fast forward it. 
um, if you haven't seen my review already. So here you go. All right, enough of that. Okay, so if you don't know what happened by now, Glenn got killed by Negan, and we are anxiously awaiting to see what has happened to the group since Glenn's death. Um, how are Rick and, and everyone that was watching um, going to go on without Glenn? Uh, it'll be interesting to see and what Negan has to offer. So this is issue number 101. Uh, look for a review after I read this issue, so it's going to be soon because I'm going to read it next. Okay, guys? So Walking Dead issue 101. Last but not least, I did not get my Walking Dead signed copy um, due to the fact that I was heavily delayed. People order it. Then the price changed on how much it was first off to compare to what it was. I couldn't get it. It's just too much money. But I got the next best thing, I think. And that is The Walking Dead Issue 100. Set it, second printing. <laughs> yes, I have another cover of The Walking Dead Issue 100. That is all of them. That's it. The second printing. And it has Negan's smug face right on the cover. And it makes me want to hang it up on a wall and throw darts on it. Anyone up for cricket? I swear to God, I, I would want to just punish this face. Um, but it's a great cover, nevertheless. It makes you just want to hate the guy. He's got that smirk on his face. And as far as I know, and I heard this from the comic shop, um, besides issue one, and besides them doing the weeklies, how they did the weeklies for The Walking Dead, this is only the only other reprint of The Walking Dead they've ever done. Uh, besides that first issue, and uh, and besides those weeklies, where the weeklies though they would they came out like almost years later. This is the official reprint that you know comes out a month later when something sells out. So they very rarely do reprints on this particular issue. And also, um, from what I heard too, they're going to be reprinting. I think it, it's the it's the series starts on 97, 97, 98, and 99. So if you guys haven't read the story arc you can pick up the reprints on this. So you'll have 97, 98, 99, 100. At least if you don't have first print, then you have second print and you have the whole story arc in case you guys missed everything that happened in this particular story arc. But yes, The Walking Dead issue 100, second printing with Negan's face on there. Gotta love it. And that's it, guys. That is it for the haul for today. Um, a lot of great books in, in, uh, in my opinion. Uh, there'll be a lots of reviews and it'll be hard to choose which ones I do um, but if you guys have a particular book that you want me to review I'll go ahead and do it but obviously the first one is going to be The Walking Dead so look for that one soon guys okay so as always everyone all my comic book fans out there uh, as always thank you very much for watching and until the next comic book review this is Spider Slayer signing off and thank you for watching Comic Book Corner take care everyone bye